Hey there, this is Game More Game. I am Pooh. More stalker, call it Pripyat. Here Hello. we go. What brings you to our humble vessel? Alright, no iceberg joke. Alright, um... We just needed to tell him about beard, is what I mean. Uh, about the bloodsucker lair we just wiped out. Let's do it. Good, you avenged our dead brothers. God bless their souls. You've earned this reward. A Velez detector, stash coordinates, 5,000 money, and mission completed, obviously. Alright, what artifacts do you need? Because, hey, guess what? We picked up a couple. Eye, flame, and snowflake. Alright. I see. I'll be back later. See you next time. Let's look at our inventory, because we picked up this little one that looks like it's got a little penis sticking out of the side of it. What's this? This one's a meat chunk. It gives us chemical protection, but it also irradiates us. Now, I noticed the other one, which is wrenched, is radiation minus three. So, artifact, it absorbs radioactive elements, provides protection from roadside radiation as well as from radioactive particles that have already made their way into the body. Okay, so this gives us radiation protection, so we're putting that on there. Now, this we could stack up, but what he didn't need meat, right? No, okay, so what about, he also likes artifacts, how much is that worth? 3,000. Is it worth it to give us the chemical protection? That's actually quite a bit of chemical protection, it looks like. Look, look when we drop that on there, it almost doubles our chemical protection. Um... I don't know, I think where those are random finds, we're just gonna leave it like that. Wait, trade, how much food do we get on us? Do we need to sell any? No, I think that'll be fine. See you next time. Alright, we're gonna run upstairs and talk to Al. Alright, we're talking to Al, let's see, he's got a job for us. Al, there is a small job with the scientists. That's one and two. I need someone to get information from the missionary camp. Take your pick. Uh, let's, tell me about the job with the scientists. You've got to find three Velas detectors and bring them to the scientist's bunker near Jupiter. Once there, talk to Novikov. He said he'd tinker with them. When detectors start to turn in a profit, we'll split it... Wait. When detectors start to turn in a profit, we'll split it evenly. All clear? Then go. It's a piece of cake, really. Deal. I already... I just got one Velas detector. Uh, I'm not sure if I would want to, like, use that for myself, though. I think you might be interested. Oh, yeah, we got all those papers! Secret documents. I found them on the bridge by the motor column. Want to have a look? Let's see. Yeah, this is good stuff. Buy it off of you? Uh, sure. I don't have any use for them. No thanks. I'll hold on to it for now. Like, is there some use that we should save them for? I don't know. Let's do this. Sure, I don't have any use for them. Item lost. Item lost. $2,400. Hell yeah. Uh, I'll see you next time. Okay. That's pretty good. Now, let's talk to Cardin. Does he have anything I'll for be. us? Cardin. Uh, you want a shot of booze? Drink up, Cardin. Here's to a steady hand. Alright, I'm gonna get him drunk enough so that he'll talk to us. I'll be right back. Alright, we got Cardin buttered up here. He says, Too bad my buddies Joker and Barrage aren't here. We'd have a hell of a time. We were like brothers, always got each other's backs. How did it all come to this? I'm still here, but they're gone. Hell knows where. Tell me about Joker and Barrage. Yeah, I came to Zaytoma to my buddies, Barge and Joker, young kids full of piss and vinegar, itching to get their hands on mountains of artifacts, dying to be the first, the fastest, and I looked at those burning eyes and I said to myself, that ain't gonna do them no good. Loot's nice to have, sure, but it ain't worth charging headlong into a mutant's jaws. So what happened? Well, we were hanging out one night, drinking, and started arguing over what to do next. Should we go on or stay? And if we go, where to? Everyone's sticking to his guns, standing pat. Things got really heated, and when the argument was over, we all went on our own way, me included. I told them they ain't seen life yet, and some other unpleasant things. Man, if only I could see them again, I would say I'm sorry for what I said, then. We'd hang out together like before and remember the good old times. Uh, I can pass your apologies on to your buddies if I run into them. That would be good. Three comrades, find out about Barrages and Joker's fates. Alright. And repair modifications. I would like to have this repaired. Yes. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one too. Let's just get everything. Make sure everything stays in good shape. Oh, I'm doing it wrong. There we go. Uh, I also need to sell this gun. Let's go ahead over here. Jesus, I'm bumping into everything. Got to calm her down. Trade. Uh, this gun. Okay, that's an echo detector. Where's the Velez detector? Oh, it must be this one. 
Sweet. Is that like a lot better than the one I have? Till we need three, I'm gonna hold on to that like that. All right, look at that. That's 1,300. That's not too bad. Um, AP rounds and normal rounds. All right, let's get rid of a little bit of our ammo because I think we've got too much for the time being. That's a bunch of pistol ammo. Uh, three grenades. Yeah, that's not too bad. We don't have overkill on the grenades yet. Lots of med kits and stuff like that. That's pretty good. Shotgun shells is something we need, though. Let's get 40 shotgun shells. Is that going to be enough? Ah, let's just buy all the shotgun shells. There we go. And we'll sell that. There, we have 20,000 money foods. This is good. Alright, um, I need information. Oh, perfect timing. There's a psi storm. Where can I find the stalker called Magpie? Alright, that's the guy who, uh, betrayed a group of stalkers. Let's see. I can give you a hint for a thousand. Here. You won't find him here, but a little bird told me he might be around Jupiter, maybe near Yanov Station. Keep in mind that whoever made a mess of things in one place doesn't keep the same name when he leaves for another place. He's probably changed his guise, too, figuring people will be looking for him among stalkers. Um, alright. See you next time. So we learned a little bit about Magpie, so he should be around Jupiter Station. Uh, I was going to head outside start getting stuff done, but for now, I'm going to float around, see if there's any other quest things in here, and we'll just wait at this storm. Alright, I stopped to talk to Dima Pond here, and, he said, and I asked him about the helicopters. He says, a buddy of mine told me this story. He went to the Iron Forest to get some artifacts. As soon as he got there, he heard this crash behind him. He turned around to see what it was and saw a chopper coming towards him at full speed, taking down pylons and shit on its way. He bolted the hell out of there. I'm surprised he made it out without landing in an anomaly. You won't have much trouble finding the Iron Forest. You can see it from miles off. It's full of friggin' poltergeists, too. So keep your wits about you. So we know near one of our crash sites that we're gonna run into ghosts or some shit like that. Sounds like a blast. I think I just found something important about the military uh, that we've been asking about. Uh, Valera Falcon here says apparently ten or so jarheads were spotted hanging around Noah's barge. Now given that the psycho was alive at this point, he probably came to some sort of agreement with them, which is just like him. Obviously nobody wanted to ask Noah about what happened. You never know what to expect from that crazy son of a bitch. I agree. He fucking shot me when I met him. I'm not a big fan of this Noah guy. I'm listening. Okay, so we learned a little bit about the uh, military fellows in the area. Uh, I picked up a, a quest to do to hunt down an artifact from Beard. We talked to Cardin a little bit. Found out he wants to know about a couple of his friends. He's got some... Uh, He's got some guilt, possibly, surrounding uh, the fate of his two friends, so... Uh, and there was one from a bandit in there, and it was Retrieve Unreachable Stash. Take the container to snag. We're going after the Unreachable Stash. We got this quest a while ago, so uh, I'm going to shamble off into the darkness, and I'll catch up with you in a minute. Okay, there's definitely something going on here. I'm hearing a lot of gunfire from this area. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a quick look around and see what's going on here. Oh Christ, it's zombies, that's what it is. Hey there, zombie scum. Here we go, problem taken care of. Ow! Jesus! I see ya! Holy fuck, what is going on here? Alright, there's zombies all around me. Holy, okay, med kit's pretty good. Uh, we're bleeding. Let's let's bandage up. Holy shit, you just never know what's gonna happen here. Hey, buddy. All right, I got a detector. That's all right. Some free ammo. I'm hearing some grunts and groans off in the distance. We're gonna unload this and take the ammo. All right, moving on. All right. Uh, I'm gonna loot whatever's left here, and we're gonna continue on towards the stat. What's wrong with me? Why do I come to do these things at night? Seriously, like, look, that tree, just a funny tree in the day, at night, terrifying tendrils reaching up into the darkness. Now, I believe this stash fell into this crevice here. There's an actual easy-to-get stash over there if we can actually see it this time, but... Alright, let's dive right in here. Apparently, we need to hit F5 for sure. Let's do a quick save. Okay, well, it's a hole, so I'm expecting snorks fully... Oh, what in the hell? Are you kidding me? What is this? Can I just jump right in there? Like, is it... Alright, let's go for it. 
Let's do it. Oh, okay, that hurt him only a little bit. That actually wasn't that bad. Let's just stay up on this for a second until we can take a look around. This is just a dark hole. I see nothing down here but death. Can I jump to that? I can. Alright. And let's jump down. Oh, no. Oh, I thought I missed that one. Alright. Look at that. I think the stash is in that car. Nothing good will happen to us while we're in here, though. I can almost guarantee it. Or that guy would have come and gotten his own fucking stash. Look at me platforming. Look at me platforming up a storm. I'm doing awesome. Alright. Alright. Is that the stash? No, that's a steering wheel. Um, okay, I'm freaked out, okay? Sometimes the steering wheel looks like a stash. Hello? Search car. We got the steel box. Okay. Now, PDA. Um, hey, whoa. Artifact order. Find a Gabby. Apparently there's a Gabby going down the street. You find her, but there's a report that another group has already found. We should track the signal and try to complete the job before your competitors do. Oh, so I can just go kill them. Alright, let's go this way. It looks like it leads out. Um, I don't know what this is. Alright, that went a little bit better than the first time. That steel box in our inventory is one incredibly heavy item. We're overloaded because of it. Ah, damn it. Alright, let's head upward. I feel like upward is probably the better way to go. Look, you motherfucker! Come on! You got nothing! Where is he? He's too slow. He's too wounded. I'm so glad I bought a whole bunch of shotgun shells before coming out here. Stay calm! Did you see that? I got cut. I got cut there, but all in all, pretty good. Oh my god, we gotta get out of this place. Look at this thing! How do we find our way out? Look. I wanna leave, and you're in the way. Okay? So, we're gonna have to agree to disagree. God, I want out of this place so badly. Any more? This looks like we're out. Oh my god, run. I can't run. I have to fight! Oh my god, how good am I doing against these guys this time? Alright, I got caught again, but I feel fine. I also need to catch those other guys. Okay, PDA. Oh no. I need to catch up with those guys. You know what, gun? Ah, uh, god. No, can I drop anything else? Is there anything I can drop to get underweight? Drop. Drop. Okay. Inventory? Do I have an energy drink? No? Oh my god, there's this thing that I can use to make myself stronger, actually, and carry more. I need to go catch these guys and kill them. My competition's gonna get my... Look, that's them right there. Somebody's attacking them. Alright. I don't have enough energy. Uh, I need to eat something. Eat that. There we go. That'll help my energy recovery. Now... Yeah, uh, th this is going to be pretty bandit-like. I understand. But... It's everyone for themselves hey, in the zone. You know this, right? It's everyone for themselves. And sometimes... Drastic actions must be taken. Whew. Hey, Tony Bush. What? Do you have my? All right. Uh, ooh, shift takes everything. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Look, man, you're gonna have to shut up for a second while I figure out if I wanna heal you or just leave you to die. All right. Um, who has this stuff? That was a hell of an ambush. I mean, not really an ambush, because I didn't surprise them. They just didn't seem to see me as a threat. But that's their fault, not mine. There's a Velez detector. Now I've got two. I only need to get three. Um, 
Damn, man. Um, sorry about this and everything. I don't want to use my... But... Uh, we can't get along. Whoa, whoa, one sec. Sorry. I apologize. Alright. Does he have this artifact? He does have the artifact. Alright, he's got a grabby. It allows you to carry more weight. Oh, man, that would be a great thing to have. I now have three Vela's detectors, too. That's pretty sick. Alright, we're going to unload these weapons, especially the shotgun, because we seem to be going through quite a few uh, sh shotgun bullets. Nope. Shotgun shells? Bullets? Rounds? Whichever. Either way, we're going through a lot of them. I'm um, kind of happy to have a pistol with me. It seems like an appropriate thing to have, except for I'm up to like 60 kgs. I am carrying a lot of valuables. Oh, I'm too overloaded to move. Um, that's pretty simple. We can just do that. And there, that takes care of most of it, but I think we'll just use this. That allows us to carry more stuff. Let's get going. Alright, back to Skidovs. Alright, we were on our way back to Skidovs here, but uh, a radioactive storm is starting, and I'm pretty sure they said they were battening down the hatches, because when I started killing those stalkers, they seemed a little mad. So, we're gonna, we stopped here at the barge. We're going to take cover here for a little bit, wait out this chemical storm. Ah, uh, yeah, just, just hang on by the fire. We've we stayed here once before. Anyway, I'm Poob. This is Game Whore Game. Join me again next time for some stalker Call of Pripyat. We'll, uh, we'll take our box back to Snag, and hopefully they'll let us into uh, Skadovsk again so that we can complete some other quests. All right, have a good one.